do it. Come on. Come on. Get your big fat butt. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. This is a very impromptu, quick, that's a dog toy, video that I wanted to do because I was thinking to myself, what video have I not done? And a lot of people were suggesting a what's in my gym bag video, right? But I have already done this video or like I just said that to myself. And then I realized I haven't done this video since like 2015. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I really need to clean out my gym bag. It's a mess. I've not cleaned it out in forever. So I figured while I'm cleaning it out and taking stuff out of it, I would just show you what's in my updated gym bag. So without further ado, welcome to today's little video. Before I actually take everything out of it, I do want to show you the bag that I'm using. And this is a Lululemon bag. Now I'm going to have to do some research because I don't know the exact name of it or if they still sell it, but they do sell duffel bags of the sort on the website. And I will say that this is a super high quality bag. I've had like Nike and Under Armour before, but like these straps, especially if I'm carrying a lot of stuff in it, they'll sometimes fray and rip. And I have not had this issue and I've had this bag for quite a few years and I absolutely love it it's so easy to clean you can use it for travel for anything so love the bag I'm just gonna start taking things out of here because it is it is literally like <laughs> it's a mess so first things first let's talk about my Nike Romaleos Romala Romala however you want to say them okay these are the Romaleo 3 they are the fly wires and these are my Olympic weightlifting squatting shoes if you are new to the lifting and all that jazz the reason why these are used for like Olympic weightlifting or squatting is because of this elevated heel right here and it's very flat supportive fantastic I've only ever used Nike and stuck with them for a very very brief moment I tried the Reebok ones and I absolutely hated them so I've stuck with these ever since I've had quite a few colors of them and I think I got these on athlete teps or athletereps.com or something like that I know also a lot of people ask about my actual CrossFit shoes and that's one of those things I've stuck with Reebok on so like Nike for my weightlifting and then for CrossFit I use Reebok and I've had pretty much all of the nano style shoes throughout the years the ones that I'm currently using right now are the nano X and I really like them I think they're awesome um, they're very comfortable They're the black ones I had on in my last video and I know a lot of people are asking so next up my double under rope and this is a tried and true from RPM and I have also had this for a very long time this is a metal rope so if you're a beginner you might want to learn with a more heavy rope so you can actually feel the jump rope when you're jumping this one is meant to be for speed um, the only downside I will say and I'm gonna come in on this so you can see hopefully here it does get frayed if you use it like I use this during um, Wadapalooza and the asphalt was really hot you're not supposed to use it on concrete and asphalt and it's kind of sprays it so when you whip yourself these little shards of metal they're so they're so painful but I do love this rope it is the only rope that I will ever use especially for competitions next up I have a dog leash and a uh, dog bowl one of those rubber dog bowls for when I bring the dogs to the gym collapsible bowl I think I got that off of Amazon a long line leash in here and this is just so that whoever I'm tying up at the gym can uh, oh and a dog bone you want that only I would have dog things in my gym bag. It's just a really thin long line leash so that if I tie them up at the gym, they're not like restricted to a one foot area. Next up is my RPM bag for my rope that I don't use. Okay, these are, these are old, man. I've had these forever. These are from the Barbell Cartel and these are lifting straps. So basically if I'm doing anything like heavy pulls, um, snatch deadlifts, something like that, you put your wrist through the padded part and then you wrap this around the barbell and it just adds as an extra secure grip that you can use to grip the barbell this is one of those things that I just I don't think it's necessary I just personally like to use it for super high percentages on things like that another thing for high percentages and I know this was also asked about in my training video these are um, now okay I believe I could be wrong about this but I think now this is a different name of the company but when I originally purchased these a few years ago I got them from the brand kilos not pounds and this is called the sushi roll wrap and these are for knees I don't wear these unless I am squatting heavy doing a heavy clean and jerk something like that I will not wrap my knees unless I am above like 85% for a working weight I personally don't have any knee issues and I know sometimes people ask like what's the purpose of knee wraps or or um, sleeves and it's ultimately just for support they should not be 
used to fix an injury or an imbalance or anything like that. It is literally just for support and in my opinion, preventative measures so that I don't get knee problems. I really like these, they're my favorite and I've kind of gone away from the knee sleeves. I used to wear them a lot more, especially during like lunges and stuff. But then that whole controversy happened with Unbroken Designs. I'm not getting into that on my channel, but it was a whole mess. And so I'm no longer wearing anything from Unbroken Designs. If you just do a quick Google search or Reddit search, you will see it. Um, but just for clarification purposes, I was never an Unbroken Designs athlete. I was not sponsored by them. I just helped her out with like some photo shoots here and there, um, some reviews, but I purchased all of that stuff with my own money, especially the wrist wraps and the knee wraps or knee sleeves, I mean. Um, but anyway, since that whole thing happened, I'm no longer wearing them, so that's why you don't see any knee sleeves or wraps. But what you will see, I'm so proud of this. I am so stinking excited about this belt, you guys. So. Because of that, I got rid of my Unbroken Designs belt, and it was a leather belt, which they have their pros and cons. I found that a lot of people prefer Velcro belts to leather belts. I personally liked the leather belt for extra support, and also because the front of the band was thinner, so it didn't dig into my ribs, but that's kind of just personal preference, and also because I have a very short torso, so it just kind of jabbed me in my ribs, whereas probably somebody with a longer torso would have that problem. After getting rid of my belt, I talked to my weightlifting coach, and I was like, I really want to make a belt because I want it to be mine and I don't want to have any issues with it and I just kind of want to create it. So I got together with him and he sells weightlifting belts and wraps and all that stuff on his website and so we kind of got together. I got my tattoo artist involved. That's how uh, I came up with this design and I just made my own Velcro belt and a lot of you guys noticed it in my training video and you want to know if you could buy them and so I'm kind of contemplating putting them for sale because I was not expecting so many people to actually like them but I'm just really excited about it. So this is my new lifting belt and then it says Manders right here on the front. I just, it's very comfortable and it's also got this little secure portion right here so that if, let's just say, if you were doing a really heavy clean or squat or something, the belt just can't pop off and fly off your waist. It's gonna be secured by this little safety guy right here. So, love this. If you would like a belt, let me know in the comments below because I'm hesitant about posting them for sale. I, I don't know how they would do, but if you would like one, let me know. All right, moving right along, I've got four rolls of lifting tape. I think I just get this off of Amazon. This is called Lift RX tape. I also like, I think it's called Gorilla tape. I'm not sure. The material of this is not like your Johnson & Johnson white tape. I don't use that. I hate that. This is a more stretchy tape so it, my thumbs can breathe. It's very sticky. I love it. Yes, look at that. Check that out. Mm -hmm. And they're just really cheap. I buy them off Amazon in bulk. Next up, I have um, some grips. And I have two different kinds of grips. I have Bear Complex, and then I have these random gymnastics brand, not even sure what they are. And I, I go back and forth with these. So I don't like them sometimes because my hands are so small, and I also hate how if I do clip them and then I'm doing chest to bars or bar muscle ups, when my wrist bends back, this little plastic piece will dig into my wrist and it leaves such a nasty bruise and I hate it. But any high rep volume chest to bars or pull ups or anything like that, they do tend to save my hands from rips. So, you know, I'm kind of here nor there on them, but I do have them in case I need them. Then I have a really oldie, I think I got this at the CrossFit Games like in 2014. This is a slingshot circle, hip circle for doing hip exercises, which I never do. Then I just have this little uh, swell bottle in case I want to fill it up with water. I also don't use this. I, this is like one of those videos where it's like, what's in my purse? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> More tape and then another dog bone. And Pepto-Bismol, because it wouldn't be Amanda's video if there wasn't pepto this on there. <laughs> that's really all that's in my gym bag. I have a shirt, and that's kind of not necessary, but that's it. I didn't think there were, I thought there was gonna be more stuff, but that's everything that's in my gym bag, and now I can organize it, so thank you for joining me on this journey. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a Monday with Manders. I've been skipping out on my Thursday videos here and there if I didn't have one prepared, so. I do this week, though, my friends. I do this week. So you guys are having a fabulous day, and that's all I got for you in today's video. So I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.